Hello everyone. Why complain all day? Getting into pity parties as if that is going to change things, as if it is going to be productive for you. Get into the word and let's do it. Let's go to Mark chapter 11 verses 23 through 24 let's do it for verily i say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. A very amazing scripture here. Verse 24, therefore I say unto you, what things soever, what, what things soever, soever ye desire. It says desire, right? What things soever ye desire. Thank you, Jesus. So ever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Thank you, Jesus. So what is this saying? If I am living for Jesus Christ, trying to be very obedient to his rules, not saying we are going to be 100% perfect, but if you fall, repent, ask God for forgiveness, and keep moving forward. So if I am living for Jesus Christ, if what I am praying to him about what I am announcing, I'm not really getting, what word can I use? Not so much announce, but I can't really think of the name. So whatever I am praying for, so if whatever I am praying for is not a sin, Whatever I am saying, decreeing, I guess, maybe I can use that word. Whatever I am decreeing, if that is not a sin, if faith is now, so whatever I am saying, if I am believing that I have it now, like for instance, if I am sick, I am praying or I am decreeing, I am healed right now in Jesus Christ's name. So if I am believing that it is done, that I am actually healed, even though it may feel like I am still sick if i am believing it is true i will get what i am saying isn't that amazing isn't that what mark 11 verses 23 through 24 is saying 
So if I was sick right now, and if I were to say, I am healed right now in Jesus Christ's name, according to these verses, I am healed. Let's say I have money problems. And let's say that, you know, I chose to say and believe right now, I am financially stable right now in Jesus Christ's name. According to these verses, what I am saying is true and I am financially stable. I really hope this is making sense. So after you decree these things, or let's say you are praying to God about it and you are telling God, I am healed, I am financially stable, my children are blessed, they are healed, they are honest people, they are acting very good, my spouse is wonderful, my spouse is very sweet, everything is perfect. When you decree these things, either in prayer or you just saying those things, believe it. And according to these verses, let me go back. And ye shall have them. So, be a follower of Jesus Christ. Obey his rules. Not to say that we are going to do everything perfectly. But, you know, if you fall, if you continue to fail, repent like, hey, I don't like what I am doing, God. Please help me change. Please help me change. God, please forgive me of all of my sins and continue moving forward. Don't become discouraged of your past failures because I believe we will always do something wrong, whether it is large or small. If what you are believing for is not a sin, then you are good. Meaning, if you are believing that it has happened, because faith is now, you will receive what you say. I really hope this is making sense here. This is very powerful. You may say to me, Kevin, I have decreed many times that I am healed, but, you know, my back is still hurting. You know, my breathing is very bad. You know, I am still feeling pain over here and over there. Did you look at Mark 11 and 24? did you? You probably did not see it. Let me show it again. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatever he saith. So this doesn't go by the way you are feeling. It doesn't go by how much pain you feel. It doesn't go by how badly your spouse is acting. It's not about how bad your father, mother, cousin, friend is acting. It doesn't go by how badly your boss is treating you. No, 
This goes by believing in what you are saying, believing in what you are decreeing. I am healed. I am not saying I am healed because I feel good. The reason why I am declaring, decreeing, declare, I guess I can use declare too. The reason why I am declaring I am healed because I feel pain. <laughs> this may go against your human logic. I understand that. That may go against your human logic, but you can think in a human way with many things of God. You are declaring you are healed because you feel sick, because you feel pain. If you wasn't, why would you declare you are healed? Why use faith to get healing if you are okay? I really hope this is making sense. Your belief should not go by, when it comes down to God, should not go by what you see and how you feel and what you sense, like taste, touch, and stuff like that. If I am believing in God for the supernatural, I can't really go by my senses, can I? I have to go by faith. And if I am believing in what I am declaring, decreeing, I guess they are similar in meaning, I guess. And if I am believing in it, I will get it. Or should I say, I have it because faith is now. Now faith. I really hope this makes sense. You need to, and, and don't take this the wrong way, you need to get out of your mind. When you read the Bible, get out of your mind. Probably one of the reasons why you have trouble with God, you like to use your own human reasoning. But you don't know, you may not know a lot about the supernatural when it pertains to God. So how can your human reasoning help? You need to go by the word of God for understanding, not by your understanding you have now. I really hope this is making sense. When you pray for something, believe it. I am healed. Um, I feel great. I am not depressed. I am not suicidal. My marriage is good. My relationship is good. My family is perfect. They all are serving God. Say things in the way you want them, not how you see them. Oh boy. Now that is a message right there. Say things the way you want them, not the way you see them. I may make that the title of this video. Let me stop here. May God bless us.